Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you stopped by to watch this video presentation of an article that I recently wrote. I create video presentations of some of my articles for people that learn through watching and listening to provide the information to those that they could not necessarily gain through reading my articles. To read the article, I will bring up the article. So here's the name of the article. Hope and purpose after a brain injury, a stroke, or a spinal cord injury. I share the blow with you to encourage you to not give up on hope. Give up on hope after a brain injury, a stroke, or a spinal cord injury, and to live your purpose in ways that will work for you, one skill at a time. Building on one skill after another skill into a series of skill sets. Skill sets that will empower our ability to take action. Actions that will give you and me the ability to create hope and hope to live our purpose in life. To live our purpose in life after a brain injury, a stroke, or a spinal cord injury. On February 1st, 2024, Thursday, I had an opportunity. An opportunity to share my presentation finding purpose after brain injury and stroke with a group of men. A group of men at the Neurorestorative Charlotte, North Carolina Brain Injury and Behavioral Health location. I did this through Zoom. I did this to share what I discovered that helped me on my way to finding my purpose. During the presentation, I shared what I discovered in my process and journey on the way to finding my purpose. I then shared some principles that helped me, to help me and continue to help me. Help me as I live to fulfill my purpose one day at a time. After I finished the presentation, I was asked a question as an introduction to answering the question. The individual asked when the would be the right time to seek and begin working. I told them that they alone would know when the time was right. During my presentation, I shared with the men and staff that I was unable to stay employed in traditional employment. I shared that after being told that I was unemployable, that I felt like I was on my own. The interest inventories, career assessments, and evaluations that I have been given over time did not help. No one up to that point could uh, give me answers on how to be of service because they did not know, they did not and could not provide answers. And as a result, I was on my own to figure things out, to find out how to be of service beyond traditional employment. To be of service despite my brain injury, invisible disability, deficits, and limitations. I shared with them that no one had answers for me as to how I could be of service being unemployable because they did not know how to factor in the issues that I had with my brain injury, my deficits, and limitations due to the invisible nature of my disability. Here's a quote that I like that I often share that I encourage people with that I need to remember and am encouraged by. Everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life, believing that it is stupid. So what I did here is I just encouraged the guys that were in attendance to remember that although they may not be able to do some things, they can learn to do other things very well. So in my answer to the question that I was asked, I shared with them that they too may not be able to stay employed in traditional employment. And then went on to encourage them to develop their interests. Their interests are the interests they had before they sustained their injury. And I just, I believe that our passions, even though we have uh, been affected by a brain injury, a spinal cord injury or a stroke, that may limit our ability to do the things that we used to do in ways that we used to be able to do them. We can learn now how to use our gifts, talents, and ability, abilities to channel our passions in ways that will work for us. And that's how we can develop and create our own genius. I encourage them to learn how to develop those interests in ways that would work for them work for them despite their injury deficits and limitations to fulfill their purpose. I then shared something that, that made a big difference 
and my ability to develop my interests, my interests through my gifts, talents, and abilities. I encourage them to find out how they best learn. Their learning styles, whether they are visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learners. I shared that understanding the way they learn will reduce the, their frustration and the frustration of those who are teaching them in ways that they do not learn. Understanding their learning styles then would help them to learn how to develop their gifts, talents, and abilities. Learning styles that may be different than before their injury. I then shared with them that a friend of mine tried to teach me in ways that I did not learn. The result left us both frustrated and feeling stuck. Feeling frustrated and stuck because I was not able to apply what he was struggling to teach me. So what I discovered about my learning style is that I best learn at my own rate and pace. My own rate and pace, instead of being frustrated because of my short-term memory and difficulty learning sequences of information. I realized I needed, I needed more time, more time than my friend was allowing me to grasp what he was trying to teach me. I needed to have more time to learn sequences of information. I discovered that by watching uh, repeatedly or watching and repeatedly watching video presentations that I was able to fo follow and apply. By applying uh, those patterns into what I was <coughs> excuse, wanting to accomplish, I was able to learn how to do technical things technical things for my web blog and over time and through persistence I've been able to discover and learn and develop professionally. <clears throat> so my journey and process of discovery to encourage to encourage you not to give up on your process. So I shared during my presentation that it took me 10 years to get my undergraduate degree three and a half years to get, obtain my master's degree in rehabilitation counseling, 20 years of getting and losing both professional and non-professional jobs, becoming a client of two Department of Vocational Rehabilitations, one in Florida and the other here in North Carolina. The second evaluation process resulted and I was told I was unemployable. I applied three times for SSDI. The third application was approved. So then I, I, I then spent seven more years in, in search of my purpose after I'd been told that I was unemployable and began receiving SSDI. In my search for learning how to use my gifts, talents, and abilities in a way that would work for me to fulfill my purpose, my process journey of discovering my Purpose took 50 years as my brain injury occurred when I was 10 years old. So, but I'm glad that I did not give up. Your process may take that long too, but however long it may take, don't give up. Don't give up on your process and journey of discovering your purpose. And then after I found my purpose, and on February 6, 2007, it took me another 14 years and Zoom to be able to share my message of hope, creative hope in my presentations throughout the United States. Hope did not give up on me. I shared that I had a dysfunctional relationship with hope and God for that matter for many years because hope and God did not do what I thought was right over the years, I had a difficult time trusting. With this perspective, I felt as though hope had abandoned me and that I had to figure things out on my own. Little did I know at the time that I, was, I had always been just where I needed to be to learn, live, and fulfill my purpose. The imagery that helped me to make sense of hope and finding my purpose. For many years, I wondered whether hope had given up on me. I continued to wonder if hope had given up on me until I discovered discovered the value set forth in the imagery of the tapestry of a jigsaw puzzle. On one side of the tapestry there are multicolored jumbled threads protruding. 
that seemed to make no sense. While on the other side of the tapestry, there is a beautiful story being intricately woven. A box of jigsaw puzzles, pieces dumped on it on the table of life that make little sense. Little sense until each puzzle piece appears and is put into place. Then a beautiful scene or picture emerges. Through the imagery, I began to trust. I began to trust that the puzzle pieces and jumble threads were being used to connect and weave, connect and weave in an, an, empower, an empowering story that it would help me to live my purpose. Living with a brain injury, stroke, or a spinal cord injury. All our circumstances, even ones that do not make sense, and leave you and I, you and I feeling distraught and discouraged are threads and puzzle pieces. Through staying committed to your and to my ongoing recovery process, we can trust. We can trust that those jumbled threads and puzzle pieces that seem to be out of place will be used to weave a beautiful story and the pieces will fall into place to reveal a brilliant scene. More will be revealed. So what we can do is we can learn from our circumstances, experiences, disappointments, discouragement, and opportunities, for they are all leading you and I to our purpose and to live our purpose. What may not make sense to you now, as they did not make sense to me for many years, will become increasingly clear. Clear by staying committed to our process and journey. Choose to see your jumbled threads and puzzle pieces in a different way, a way to lead and guide. And this is my experience. This, through seeing my jumbled threads and puzzle pieces as a way to lead and guide me, I began to see hope as a coach. A coach that was teaching me what I needed to learn from my set of circumstances. A loving God who was, I didn't understand at the time, and is leading me to live my purpose in the here and now of today. So my perspective of God in the past was different than it is now. I didn't really understand why he allowed certain things to happen. But I now realize that they were all part of the plan and purpose for my life to prepare me to be able to do what I'm doing through Second Chance to Live. And my website, through my articles, video presentations, uh, Zoom presentations, and through my speaking to neuroplasticity. So here's several quotes that I really like that encourage me. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run by Babe Ruth. I st Another quote is, ideas do not always come in a flash, but through diligent trial and error experiments that take time and thought by Charles KKM. Next quote, nothing is a waste of time if you use experience wisely. August Roden. Next quote, believe in yourself, go after your dreams, don't let anyone put you in a box. Dea, I have not failed 10,000 times. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work by Thomas Edison. Let me just accentuate this. You know, it's not that we fail, we just learn what doesn't work. And what doesn't work may take a long time to figure out what does work. So please do not give up on your process. A new journey, because more is going to be revealed. Here's another quote that I like. Research your own experience, absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, and add specifically your own. By Bruce Lee. Next quote. Not everyone will understand your journey. That's okay. You're here to live your life, not to make everyone understand by Bansky. Next quote that I shared earlier. Everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish, by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. And here's a quote that I wrote and penned. Purpose is about a process and a journey, not a destination. I cannot know until I know, and knowing just takes what it takes. There are no silver bullets or magic potions. By accepting that reality, I'm given the gift of knowing. I'm given the gift of knowing by trusting the process, loving God and myself. 
this is the end of the video presentation I want to thank you for being here listening to this if you have any questions please send those questions to me by leaving a comment also if you like this article being read and the information please like it as it will help my channel also before I go let me encourage you with this please do not give up on yourself a loving God or your process because more will be, re be revealed excuse me to you and to me with time the pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and thanks again. God bless. I know.